the exponential function e to the x has the easiest differentiation formula. So the derivative of e to the x is e to the x. So if you keep taking derivative of e to the x, you will just get a bunch of e to the x. So second derivative is e to the x, the third derivative e to the x, the fourth derivative e to the x. So you keep taking derivative of e to the x, the answer is just e to the x. If there is a function inside the exponential function, like you have e to the f of x, so you have a function inside the exponential function. So the derivative of this is you write the entire thing first and then you multiply the derivative of f of x using chain rule. So let's do several examples. So the first one is f of x equals to 2 times e to the ax. The derivative f prime of x, so you write the whole thing. So just write this one more time and then you have to multiply the derivative of ax because we have a linear function ax inside the exponential function e. So this is by chain rule derivative of a to the x, ax, not a to the x. The derivative of ax is equals to a, a times two is equals to 16. So overall, f prime of x is equals to 16 e to the ax. Uh, with a little bit of practice, you don't need to show the second line anymore. All right. So the next one, the next one is e to the square root of x minus two. Let's switch to a different color. So we have f of x equals to e to the root x minus x squared. So first of all, f prime of x, you copy the whole thing, e to the square root of x minus x squared. So since we have that inside the exponential function, then you have to use chain rule to take the derivative of that. So that is a root x minus x squared. And then f prime of x, so that is equals to uh, e to the root x minus x squared, and then uh, that is one half, right? x to the negative one half, and then minus two x. So this is done. Uh, or you can put this in in the front. I will just finish that right over here. All right, this is done. Okay, that's a two. All right, what's the next one? The next one is uh, we have a 10th power, right? So clearly this is the next one is also a chain rule. So let's do that. So the next one, we have f of x equals to parenthesis e to the negative 5x and then plus 3 to the cube root of x. And then you raise the whole thing to the 10th power. And then you have to bring the 10th power down first. So f prime of x, we bring the 10 down, whatever that is that is raised to the ninth power, and then we use chain rule to take the derivative of the inside, e to the negative 5x, and then plus the cube root of x. So this is by chain rule. Chain rule. Okay, fill, fill out the blank. Okay, the derivative, so let's copy this again. 10 and then e to the negative 5x plus the cube root of x raised to the ninth power. And then uh, the derivative of that, can you do this in one step? So the derivative of e to the anything is e to the anything, and then times the derivative of negative 5, right? So that is negative 5x, so that is equals to negative 5. Let's put, put that down, so negative 5. And then you bring the one third down, and then one third minus one is negative two third. And then this is in one piece, and then this is done. There is no need to distribute this anymore. And then this negative 5 is by the chain rule. All right, box my final answer. And then we move on to the next problem. The next problem is we have e to the e to the 2x, okay? We have f of x equals to e to the e to the 2x. Okay, so let's take the derivative. So the derivative of e to the anything is e to the anything. And then you have to multiply the derivative of the exponent, which is e to the 2x. And then the derivative of e to the 2x. So this is the e to the 2x. And then you multiply the derivative of 2x, right? So this piece is chain rule. And then this piece is also a chain rule. And then don't forget to copy this again. 
and then f prime of x. So let's write our final answer. So that is equals to a two, right? And then here is how I will write it. So I will put a two at the very beginning and then e to the e to the two x and then multiply e to the two x. And then this is my final answer. Two x. Okay, what's the last one? The last one is e to the square root of three x. So the last one is f of x that is equals to e to the square root of 3x. Okay, so square root of 3x, what is that equal to? That is equals to e to the square root of 3 times square root of x, right? And then f prime of x, so e to the anything is just e to the anything. So e to the root 3 and then root x, and then we have to multiply the derivative of what? The derivative of uh, the exponent, root 3, and then root x, right? So this is by chain rule. Okay, let's continue. So f prime of x, so to for the first term, we don't need to split up the exponent anymore. So that is root 3x. And then uh, the chain rule, so you bring the one half down and then the power is negative one half. So you have a multiply root 3, bring the one half down, not negative, bring the one half down and then x raised to the negative one half and then we put everything together. So we have f prime of x equals to, so this is the two, this is the negative one half and then this is the root three and then the e term is right over here, three x. All right, so that is the answer of this derivative. All right, so that is the end of this video. If you think my instruction is helpful and clear, Give me a like, share this video for me. If you are new to the channel, please take two seconds to click the subscribe button. I will meet you all in the next lesson. Signing out.